Hello, good morning for everybody. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay, good morning. thanks for, for answering. Um, well, wait a second. Okay, uh, active your cameras, please. Let your cameras active. Come on. Quickly, quickly, go on. Right now, come on. Students, please. Go and turn on your cameras and let the additives. Okay, um, I think the this topic of the quantifiers had been uh, worked very well. So, so I think that you don't need any any um any more work about this this topic. Yeah. So what what do you think about that? Have you learned? Have you learned about this topic? Uh, uh, is everything is everything okay? Is everything uh, understood or not? Or something is uh, missing about the the topic? So I'm gonna explain it and I'm gonna um, recheck the last uh, quizzes that we did. Yeah, yesterday. So. There were there were some mistakes, but the most of the students do it uh, did it very well. Okay, in this sentence, there are biscuits in the packet. So we have to select, yeah, and watch and look the the vocabulary. Biscuits, galletas in English, yeah, is a countable or uncountable noun, yeah. And accord, uh, according to that, you are going to define the uh, the quantifier. Yep. So biscuits is a countable noun. So you don't use with countable nouns, little. You don't use little. Yeah. 
you don't use e with plurals yeah and a lot is uncompleted yeah you you have to say a lot of a lot of biscuits no a lot of biscuits so the correct answer is view view is used for um uh, countable nouns countable nouns yeah para decir algo así como pocos entonces there are few biscuits in the packet uh, is correct Yep, so the most of you have an incorrect uh, an incorrect in this uh, exercise. Second question. We have got time. You know the time, the time, yeah. The time is uh, uncountable. Yeah. So try to uh, try to discard descartar uh, the the use of the countables yep so we discard few because it's with countables yeah any we use any just for questions or negative sentences so discarded too and we use uh, we don't use a lot because uh, it uh, it doesn't have the off a lot of time yeah so you cannot say a lot time so it's easy to know that a little time is the correct answer. See, we have got a little time. Number number three. Okay, this this was uh, so easy because I explained it the last the last class. Few of my students remember the third person singular is ending on birds. The last phrase means that. Okay, you use few went um just uh, a little part yeah of students have uh, understood the um the, 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 the third person singular is yeah that means so so the answer is just two or three when you say six or seven yeah you use some some yeah some students no one is for ninguno and all of my students uh, means todos for the four he earns he earns el gana dinero esta era muy muy fácil a lot of money a lot of money yeah Porque no usamos generalmente many y much con eh, oraciones positivas, positive sentences, yeah? y few no lo usamos con incontables como el dinero, ¿vale? Entonces eso era fácil de determinar, por eso la mayoría le quedó bien. Number five, she wears gold jewelry, yeah? In this case, you could say lots of, is the synonym of a lot of and it's correct to say lots of but is like an informal way to say uh, a lot of yeah little is not uh is not for uh, countable nouns yeah a little is uh, is also not for uncountables and much is not used with, uh, when we are talking in positive sentences A second. Okay, next sentences say number six. Well, they haven't had they haven't had homework in mathematics recently. Having had when you are talking about uh, negative sentences, yeah, and then you can say the phrase ninguna, ¿sí? eh, tú vas a usar el any. Any es para ningunas cuando estamos hablando de oraciones interrogativas o negativas. ¿sí? En este caso no utilizaríamos son porque es solo para positivas, a few también es solo para positivas y para contables, eh, a little. A little tampoco se usa en este caso porque es solo para positivas. Any es lo correcto. 
next sentence how time do you need to finish the how the work so this is very easy you just have to remember that time is an uncountable noun and that you use much with uh, questions so how much time do you need to finish the whole the work that was very easy for you the most of you know okay there are yeah, uh, this is very easy too. Many, too many students. Too many students. We use many, but in affirmative sentences, when you use, uh, it is used the two, the two, que significa demasiado. Ya con many, too many, pues significa demasiados, bastantes. Too many students, muchos o demasiados estudiantes. Have you visited? Any foreign country. En este caso aplicamos la misma regla con any para las oraciones interrogativas. Bien. This one. There are not, there are not uh, many. Otra vez aplicamos la misma regla, many para oraciones interrogativas, eh, perdón, negativas. Sí, there are not many options. No hay muchas opciones. No aplicamos much porque opciones es. Eh, hablar de opciones es eh, de algo contable. Son es solo para positivas y few también es solo para positivas. Ok, the 11 one, it says, there is butter. Remember, butter is an uncountable noun. So we use a little instead of few. Si vamos a decir poca, poca eh, mantequilla en la nevera, pues vamos a decir o un poco de mantequilla en la nevera, pues vamos a decir a little. ¿Listo? Next one. Do you have any milk? ¿Tienes algo de leche? Do you have any milk? No usamos many porque many es para eh, contables, no usamos few porque es para positivas y no usamos some porque es para positivas. Number 13. Amy has In this case, a lot of, a lot of friends, a lot of friends. Well, do you have, do you have um, a little money, a little, because uh, a little is used with uh, uncountable nouns. Well, number 15, we don't have enough time tiempo eh, suficiente tiempo we don't have enough time there are number 16 there are some oranges in the kitchen that was very easy how much money do you have en este caso, pues la respuesta sería nada. Y nada, pues se dice no one. No one. Bueno, estas, estas preguntas no tenían calificación, pero sí eran un poco más difíciles porque teníamos que hacer eh, contextualización de lo que está aquí en las imágenes. Entonces dice la primera. What is the best phrase for this meme? ¿Cuál es la mejor frase para este meme? ¿Vale? Entonces, eh, en este caso yo creo que la respuesta me to myself, go fucking study, de, de mí para mí mismo, ve a estudiar, maldita sea, la B decía, me after studying less than half a page of my notes, eh, yo después de estudiar la, eh, menos de la mitad de mis, de mis apuntes, la C decía, this is me, este soy yo, eh, una noche antes del examen, D, cuando tengas, eh, cuando tienes examen, perdón, ah, aquí era tú, 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 cuando tienes dos exámenes en un día, y me confundí. Ok, vamos con la siguiente. Dice, 19, what is the best phrase for this meme? Ahí decía, what about my human rights? Dice el, el, la persona que está acá, what about my human rights? Sí, y en este caso si era la opción, When you have two exams in one day. Cuando tienes dos exámenes en un día. Y ya por último, ah no, otros dos. 
Esa era la más sencilla de estas. What phrase would you use for this meme? ¿Qué frase usarías para este meme? En una escala de 1 a 10, ¿qué tan estresado estás? 11. Y ahora sí, la última. What do you think is the best phrase for this meme? I understand nothing. No entiendo nada. Cuando dice, yo, abriendo un examen, soy como... No entiendo nada. ¿Ok? Listo. Eh, chicos, espero que haya quedado eh, muy bien entendida la temática de los cuantificadores, que se haya aprendido eh, bien, ¿sí? Para no tener que después estar haciendo eh, eh, una retroalimentación, o si se hace ya es que cuando vayamos a hacer la, la evaluación de, de corte o de periodo. ¿Listo? Entonces, no sé ustedes qué... ¿Qué opinan? Si les quedó bien entendido, si no, si tengo que volver a explicar. Speak, speak, speak. Come on. Hola, profe. Hola. Profe, qué pena por haber entrado tarde. Es que le estaba enviando el video de, de los 20 de julio. No, no sé por qué no me quería dejar, pero ya pude. Ok, no problem. Les venía diciendo, preguntando que si el tema quedó bien entendido o no, si entendieron, si no, dudas, preguntas, discusiones. No? Ok, so open your English books, open your English books in the page number 57. 57, ok? Page number 57. So you are going to take this topic, this topic of the, uh, the of the next um, sentence of the next uh, page. Yeah, on page 57, 57. Sí, creo que sí, la 57. No, sorry. ¿Es la 57? Sí, sí, es la 57. 57. Yeah. This topic is about, it is so, it's, it's easy. It's easy because it's about connectors. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take this topic so much. You just have to uh, see what about you are in this topic. So, yeah, so please, um, first of all, we, um, uh, I, I was about to say the word with F. Okay. Um, well, first of all, look at these pictures. Look at these pictures and say what were they, uh, why they were uh, built by. ¿Por qué fueron construidas? Yep. So, what do you think about this first? This first. Yeah, for example, um, I'm gonna select something. Faber Castellanos, so are you there? Yes. Yep. Why is the page number? Perdón? What is the page? What is the page number? And 57, 57. Thanks. Okay, in the 57, so you have to look at this uh, objects have to look at this object and uh, try to describe or try to say why uh, they, why were they were for, yeah? Or why uh, were they used for? Para que fueron usados alguna vez estos objetos, yeah? So, Do you think, uh, what do you think of this? Uh, I was saying about... For information? Yeah, yeah, for information, maybe, maybe. This is, uh, is similar to a, a, an old computer. An old computer is very similar. So one other person, maybe... Uh, Nicole Loaiz, are you there? Yes, teacher. 
Are you there? Hello? No. Ahí sí se hacen los que no tienen audio. Ok, Sofía Delgado, are you there? Sofía, ¿no tienes audio? Ok, entonces José López, José López, ahora ninguno tiene audio. Conveniente, sospechoso. Vaya, vaya. Ok, uh, maybe um, uh, Laura Alvarado, if you are there, just uh, answer me. Yes, yes, teacher, I'm here. Yes. Ok. What do you think uh, this object that the baby have uh, was used by? What do you think about that? Nope. Alvarado. For entertainment. Yes, that's all. Very good for entertainment. It was easy to say that? Yes, it was easy to say that. I don't know why you are so shy at the moment of speaking and the moment of participating. Don't know. Okay. Uh, Michael Moreno, are you there? Yes. Okay. What, what do you think this object of the cat uh has has made for shoes the they're like shoes and why um for 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 what intention uh, teacher uh, uh, what do you say calzado in english Shoes, but uh, maybe you could say something like uh, they were used to uh, keep clean the 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 feet, the cat's feet. Yeah, something like that. To have cleaned cleaned the the cat's feet. Fue usado para mantener limpios los los pies de los gatos, or something like that. Okay, thank you very much, Michael. Well, uh, Juan Diego Vélez, are you there? What do you think this object uh, was uh, made for? This object was used to, to transportation. Yeah, for transportation, that, that's a nice, that's a nice, uh, option okay very good so uh where we are not going to listen this because it's the same we were talking about yeah it's not necessary for now mm. the, this is not necessary to do it just uh let's make this point for working pay uh, don't work in pay complete what people talk about the inventions in activity three with the connectors in the bus. So uh, in this exercise, you just have to look at these uh, connectors and put it into these uh, spaces. So let's start with this. Um, the personal computer. The personal computer was said to be a useless invention. So, because but another problem the result was for example firstly and finally on of that uh, on top of that yeah i don't know too so let's continue with the other other inventions were more useful other inventions were more useful nobody wanted it but nobody I, I think is this, but nobody wanted them. Wanted them. Yeah. Wanted them. They were dangerous because they were dangerous. I think so. This is the correct 
uh, structure because because in this space. So let's write this. Because and um, but yeah, then we complete with the net uh, with the rest. Okay, the C fly was a disaster. Was a disaster. The open concept means it was only really useful in dry water. Okay. Yep. Profe, disculpe, es que me tengo que retirar, tengo una urgencia. Yeah. Lo siento. Yeah, 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 no. Take it easy. Take it vale, easy. gracias. Ok, no matter. No matter. One second, please. Ok, what, what do you put at... Uh, this uh, sentence the c5 was a disaster because but another problem the result was i think the result uh i think we have to put this sentence the result was the result was the open concept meant it was only really useful in dry water. Another problem. Another problem. was that it had not a uh, reverse gear gear yeah so uh, on top of that the c5 wasn't able to go go up hills on top of that yep and in number four it says here, people felt unsafe driving such a small vehicle in real traffic. The C5, what was the C5? I think it, it was necessary to listen the, the audio, but I I thought it's a way, it, it was a, a waste of time. Yeah, so. Yes. Welcome to the Museum of Science and Technology. I'll be your guide today. And I'm going to be talking to you about our new exhibition of strange inventions. Actually, one of the strangest inventions we have at the museum is dusting slippers for cats. These are small slippers that are worn by cats and which have dusters on the bottom. The idea is that while the cat moves around the house, your floors are clean. Of course, the slippers are a silly invention and we all know they just won't work. That's not to say some inventions that are called silly or pointless when they first come out didn't actually take off and become incredibly successful. The personal computer, for example, which was invented in the 1970s, was said to be a useless invention that no one would ever want. And now billions of people have one or have access to one. But some inventions really are silly or useless. Back in 1948, Joe Gilpin invented a motorized surfboard that nobody wanted to buy, not even surfers. The idea was ridiculous. Did you listen about this? Did you listen well? Slippers that are worn by cats and which have dusters on the bottom. 
The idea is that while the cat moves her some inventions that are called silly or pointless when they first come out didn't actually take off and become incredibly successful. The personal computer, for example, which was invented in the 1970s. Uh, did you listen to the first? The personal computer. Yeah. Answer by the microphone, please. What was the sentence? The missing sentence? Seriously? Teacher. I think it was, uh, for example. Uh, yes, sir. Can, Tell me. Can you put the beginning again? Okay. Invention. And we all know they just won't work. That's not to say some inventions that are called silly or pointless when they first come out didn't actually take off and become incredibly successful. The personal computer, for example, which was invented in the 1970s, was said to be a useless invention that no one would ever want. And now billions of people have one or have access to one. But some inventions really are silly or useless. Back in 1948, Joe Gilpin invented a motorized surfboard that nobody wanted to buy, not even surfers. The idea was ridiculous, so nobody bought one. Other inventions were more useful, but nobody wanted them because they were dangerous. In the 1930s, to help with the problems of space in people's apartments, the baby cage was invented. It was hung on the outside of people's apartments. It was a good way of making more space inside, but unsurprisingly, people just didn't want to hang their babies outside their windows. Then there are inventions which are useful, but which are badly designed. The C5 was an example. The C5 was a battery-assisted tricycle that was invented in the 1980s. At the time, everybody was excited by the idea of a cheap electric vehicle. But the C5 was a disaster. Firstly, the open design meant the C5 was only really practical in dry weather. Another problem was that it had no reverse gear and was difficult to turn around. On top of that, one second. Okay, so I, I think it was the that wasn't the answer. So, was the answer in this? Uh, what was the answer in this uh, sentence? The C5 was a disaster. I think, firstly, 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 it's like uh, al principio. The open concept means it was only really useful in dry water. The C5's battery was so ineffective that it wasn't able to go up hills. And finally, people felt unsafe driving such a small and open vehicle in heavy traffic. The result was that only 17,000 were sold. And just 11 months later, Sinclair vehicles went bankrupt. I think. Uh, okay, aquí, aquí podemos poner the result was. Because it's the, very, the best option for this sentence. So the result, the result was. People felt unsafe driving such a small vehicle in real traffic. And five, it's and finally that not many were sold. Mm. I think you have to change this. The result was, and here. And finally, sorry for this. But this is the correct order of this uh, exercise. I think so. I think so. What do you think about? Is this the correct order according to the audio?
Yep. Not? Yeah, teacher. Okay, so write it in your workbooks or not because I don't know. Um, please send it by WhatsApp. Ok, pero se me desorganiza. Ah, entonces no, profe. Aquí, aquí. No, ya lo tengo. Profe, una pregunta. Solo dice, complete what people talk about the inventions in activity 3, in activity 3 with connectors in the box. Profe. ¿No? Dime. Ya, profe, gracias. Eh, no hemos hecho el punto 3. No. No, sino que... No, no, no lo, no lo habíamos hecho porque me interesa más trabajar con este tema que es el de conectores. ¿Por qué? Pero ah, eh, otro problema, de res, el resultado fue, por ejemplo, eh, al principio y finalmente, on top of that, I, I, I'm not sure what is the meaning of on top of that. Como, es como que el, aparte de eso. On top of that, es como aparte de eso. Have you, re have you written this? ¿Ya lo vieron? ¿O ya le tomaron pantallas o, o, lo, o lo copiaron ahí en el libro? Si ya lo copiaron, envíenme la fotico ahí por el, por el chat. Ya ustedes tienen mi número. Y si no, pues se los vuelvo a dejar. Solo, solamente vamos a enviar el punto 4, ¿listo? Como comprobante de que ustedes estuvieron trabajando en clase. On top of, además de, sí, es como además de. Ok, bien. Ok, well guys, uh, see you the next class. Yeah, let me uh, through my WhatsApp the uh, answers of this exercise. Don't forget that. Yeah, because this is going to be the first score of this uh, period. So bye bye. See you the next class. See you on uh, Tuesday.